Welcome back to Touring Plans TV. I'm Angela Dahlgren, and today we're going to talk about the perfect Magic Kingdom attractions for babies. Now, while I'll mainly be referring to babies, these attractions would apply to toddlers as well. Also, any show like the Hall of Presidents or Mickey's PhilharMagic would work for babies, but I wanted to specifically focus on the rides for today's video. So in no particular order, here we go. Number 1. Under the Sea, Journey of the Little Mermaid This attraction takes you through scenes retelling the story of the Little Mermaid with animatronics, video effects, and a vibrant 3D set the size of a small theater. Babies love faces, so seeing the faces of Ariel, Prince Eric, and King Triton will be such a joy for them. Plus, this is a great learning opportunity to point out the different sea creatures found in the ocean. Number 2. Tomorrowland Transit Authority People Mover Now, while Walt Disney's Carousel of Progress is longer and would be better for air conditioning and feeding your baby, I inevitably picked this one because it's just more exciting. This attraction brings you on an indoor and outdoor tour of Tomorrowland. It's a great place to relax as the attraction is 10 minutes in length, the line is really never that busy, and it's environmentally friendly as it uses linear induction motors and is emission free. Number 3. It's a Small World It's a Small World is an indoor boat ride that carries visitors on a tour around the world, complete with singing and dancing. Now I know 10 plus minutes of hearing the same song over and over may not seem ideal, but hear me out. Music is important to babies for so many reasons. It helps their cognitive and sensory development, it helps them learn sounds, the meaning of words, the list goes on and on. You can also point out the different shapes and they'll love seeing the different colors. Ooh, and fun fact, the first few months of life, babies can only see black, white, and red. So that's probably why they gravitate towards Mickey and Minnie Mouse so much. Number four, Peter Pan's Flight. What I enjoy about Peter Pan's Flight is that it has an air-conditioned queue, an updated pre-show, and a nice, calm attraction. Teaching baby doesn't have to be fancy. During this ride, Point out the bright neon colors and describe what you're showing them. Count the number of pirates. Ask your baby questions throughout the ride. Just enjoy the time with your family. I really love the nostalgia of this classic attraction. Finally, number five, Dumbo the Flying Elephant. Another Magic Kingdom classic, this attraction has you seated inside a small fiberglass elephant mounted on long arms and it spins around a central axis. While a control inside the vehicle allows you to go up or down, you can forgo that option to provide an even more comfortable flight for you and your baby. Take this 90 second ride to practice your elephant noises, enjoy the cool breeze, or sing Baby Mind without sobbing. Finally, for older babies or better yet toddlers, there's an indoor circus playground where you can work on those large motor skills. That's all I have for today. Though this wasn't a complete list, I just wanted to showcase a few of my favorites. To share your own, please leave them in the comments. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!